Section 2 Your Wireshark, Your Way In this section our focus will be getting familiarized with Wireshark graphical interface and how to customize Wireshark as per our preference. Getting familiarized with Wireshark GUI Here we will understand on how to navigate through the Wireshark tool and explore its various menus and windows. Upon opening the Wireshark we will be presented with the startup window. Here we will be asked to choose an interface for which we need to enable packet capture. Interface means the network card in your computer. In my case I have only one network card which has been displayed as local area connection. Also in this window below you will find some quick useful links such as the official user guide of Wireshark, question and answers and the version which you are running right now. Let's look at the main window of Wireshark which will be presented to you after you select an interface. Wireshark main window consists of the first one is menu. This is where all the action happens from starting the capture until saving the capture file you can do all. Below menu we have the main toolbar. This provides quick access to frequently used items from the menu such as starting the capture, stop, saving the capture etc. The third one is the filter toolbar. It lets you quickly edit and apply display filters. We will cover more on the display filters in the upcoming videos. The main section in this window is the packet list pane. It displays the packet in order it was captured. It's like a summary of the packets being captured. It's showing the sequence number, time of capture, source, destination, protocol. Now when we click onto one of the packets, we can see details below in the packet details pane. If you want to have some more granular information, we can see it in the packet bytes pane. It's basically raw data. The last one is the status bar, which will show us the current status of Wireshark and some additional information. That's it for this video.